So how's your car do? We're here in the Vehicle Research Center's crash hall. This is where they do the real crash testing. Here's one of their crash barriers that we have our brick up against. So let's see if this egg survived. Mm, oy, oy, oh, no, I'm afraid not. So let's take a look at some of the design features here in this car. Well, I like what she tried to do here in the front. She tried to make it so that this bumper would in increase the, the impact time a little bit. And she also engineered inside the car uh, a lot of extra padding and it looks like some barriers here that again, she was trying to increase that impact time, which is the right idea. But unfortunately, wasn't engineered quite strong enough to keep those impact forces from making all of this deform and to hit the egg. Let's take a look at another one of my students' cars. So here's the accelerator. Notice it's got already an extension in the car here to make for a crumple zone. Plus there's inside, they've provided some extra padding to act like an airbag. So the egg sits in back, and so during the collision, it's hitting the airbag, and you also have this crumple zone that's doing its job to also increase that impact time, because that's the key, right? So when you're going through that big change in momentum, that means that this brick is applying an impulse to stop this car. And remember, an impulse is the impact force and the impact time multiplied together. So the trick is, to making a crash-worthy car, is extending that impact time that reduces the crash forces.